This is the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast special, top five cards of 2020. I'm Bragg and I'm here with Jake. Hello! Now, there's a lot of good cards out in 2020, wasn't there, Jake? Uh, there was definitely some highlights. There were definitely some really strong cards that came out this year. Um, as well as a few that sort of came out and then didn't really do as much as they were um, sort yeah. of hyped up to be. There was a, <laughs> there was a few of those. Um, we're looking at you, Dragoon. So yeah. Dragoon, Blizzard... Um, Gisu Mech Knight, the like those oh, are the. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I completely forgot about Gisu. Yeah, and uh, sorry, I uh, <laughs> sorry Mech Knight fans, Gisu is oh, not look, on this list. Oh, look, d- don't get me wrong, <laughs> Gisu Mech Knight does a lot for Mech Knight, not a lot for Orcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, um, yeah, but there were definitely some some highlight cards for this year. Uh, the top five list from the uh, from the team and associates is uh, quite diverse and a bit weird. Um, so let's get right into it with number five, Ice Dragon Prison. Yes, this was this was one of the ones that I picked actually. Um, it's such a versatile card. Yeah. Um, like being able to both um, disrupt what's in grave for certain players, and then also being able to banish certain monsters on field, like in a main archetypal deck it can be an absolute blowout to be able to ice dragon prison someone um and then just getting link material fusion material whatever you need for your plays as well yeah it's a really cute card uh incredible side deck card um oh yeah 100 percent. and i I reckon we're going to be seeing it for a couple of years let's have a look have we ever had a trap on the list surely impermanence has been on the list at some point or maybe we weren't doing that yeah, yeah. Impermanence was in the 2018 list. Yep, there we go. On to number four, Zeus. I don't agree with this. <laughs> like, it's an incredible extra deck card, but it's only really useful in Zodiac at the moment. Yeah, that that's the thing. <laughs> it is a great card. Like, realistically, it is a very good card, but the decks that can run it are so finite that I don't know if it's really... Like, if it really deserves a space? Yeah. It's... I, I, it was just en masse, a lot of people were putting in their second slot or their third slot. I don't think anyone had it as a number one. But uh, stay tuned to our uh, end of proper end of year podcast to see who voted for that. Oh, for number three, it's fittingly Triple Tactics Talent. Yes. <laughs> Very good card. And fittingly number three. That's, that's quite cute, actually. I like that. Yeah, Demon... Uh, that's just how the numbers worked. Uh, yeah, and these three cards were all in really close contention. Then the the next two were another step beyond in our voting process. But for Triple Tactics Talent, uh, once again, really good card. Like, going first, going second, it yeah. does what it needs to do. Yeah, it's on the plus it like, gives you um, abilities to be able to continue playing if you do get hand-trapped. Mm. Um, possibly even steal back a game like with the um, ripping of card from hand and stealing a monster depending on what turn you're playing yeah um, the drawback to this is that because of that card we lost mind control <laughs> well mind control to one and call by to yeah. one so there's positives there's negatives <laughs> like I was kind of enjoying call by I didn't really I need liked this. having call by <laughs> I liked the very narrow window where we had call by and tactics yeah that was hot. Yeah. <laughs> I loved being able to negate an ash and then still get a draw. And but, what's, but no. yeah, that's about, about it for triple tactics talent. Once again, another utility card that hits the list. But here we are into the the oh, combo starters, the very feared. For oh, number two, yeah. we have Christian Hackle Fibrax. Yeah. Realistically, it should have been a card of 2018, but here we are in 2020 only having just got it. Uh... I I think the way we used it was really different to how it was originally broken in the OCG. We got a very different uh, needle well, yeah. fibre. Well, than... instead of needle fibre into um, Sorceress, yeah. we went needle fibre into Mecha Phantom Beast. Yeah. So <laughs> card pools are quite different at the time. Um, but yeah, it just goes to show that it doesn't matter when Hulk came in, it was busted. Yeah, there was always... And yeah, this card has, seen, like, has gotten at least... Off the top of my head, five tuners banned. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be at least. And probably another one or two next list. Yeah. Like, they're going to keep hitting them until... Oh, look, Jet was so good. Jet was kind of nutty. 
like literally being a one card starter. At least now, like you have to at least like activate an effect that puts you in a vulnerable position to actually get to a one card combo scenario. Yeah. Whereas like that jet was dumb. Like normal summon, link summon, and then you add Hulk. Now I'm not sure if we have the the shout outs here. But the, the honorable mentions. Honorable, oh, do we do honorable mentions here or honorable mentions after? I think so. Build up a bit of suspense. Yeah. Alright, for my honorable mentions, I have uh Golden Lord didn't make the cut. Oof. Nope. Uh, fuck all votes. Uh, Dragoon, uh, Dragoon had more votes. Uh, da, 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 those all made it in there. Aurora Don only had two, uh, two votes. Uh, Magician's Souls came out this year, the best extender. <laughs> yeah, that card is nuts. Yeah, though. that. Um, we'll stay tuned for our, our our deck coverage to see like a deck that we totally missed. Uh, Magician's Souls that was active for two and a half months. And carried spirals to actual YCS victories. This is true. This <laughs> and, is very true. It, it and wasn't God. even a blip on anyone's radar. Look, the more I forget about Spiral, the better. Like, yeah. when I saw that Master Plan was banned, I was so happy. I mean, like, when we were talking about this, I messaged uh, Lachlan going, Oh, yeah, wait, why, why? I'm like, why did Spiral go to crap? And he's like, Master Plan got banned. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It just, it just completely is just like, oh, yeah, that card, like, out of existence, forgot that deck forever. Yeah, and rightly so. I, I hated that deck. And so with those two cards ruled out, there's one remaining. You surely know it, Jake. Probably not. Do I? I don't know what it is. And just number not. one, we have Linkross. Ah, yes, of course. Now, this card kind of came out of nowhere. I feel like a few weeks before... Why was it Jules? Because it wasn't... Or was it in... Um... It was in Eternity Code. I feel like a few weeks before Eternity Code, <laughs> it um it wasn't really that hyped. And it was reasonably cheap at, on release. Yeah. I don't know whether maybe people thought that Hauk was getting banned before that. Yeah, so it wasn't even like, let's not even bother entertaining the idea, because, you know, surely Hauk will be dead. <laughs> and I think maybe the way that people were interpreting the effect may have been like misconstrued as well because yeah. like for the longest time now if you say that you're summoning tokens to someone it means you're extending by linking yeah but link cross extended by synchroing yeah and like it's weird that the format sort of swung back into like synchros and to a lesser extent exes being and, and fusions as well i guess yeah because you know alistair's good oh and india servants not in this list i Oh yeah, that, <laughs> when you said that it was going to be number one and you were looking at me, I was like, is it Nadir? I don't know, is it Nadir? That's a good point, yeah. I, that, that probably is the most honourable mention. That card's really good and will get better next year as well. Yeah, it just it just keeps getting better. Yeah, it's so there we go. That's, you know what, I agree with most of this list, kind of, not really. But there's one or two cards on there that I don't 100% agree with. And if you agree or disagree, let us know either in the comments or hit us up in the Discord, uh, in the video discussions feed. Uh, put in your top uh, five cards of the year in there. Um, and if you want to jump ahead to decks and products, put them in there too, but we'll be covering them tomorrow by the time you hear this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't don't mark your calendars. It, it may or may not happen. <laughs> I'll make it happen. We might have to do that. Yeah, actually, yeah, we've got heaps of time. We've got plenty of days left in this awful, awful year. Yeah, that's the other thing as well. Like, if... This is this is just my thought pattern. If cards this good came out this year, 2021 can only be better. <laughs> it's... Do we even get to entertain Hulk being good if we actually had proper... It, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Is like, there's so many decks and things that have gone sort of under the radar like you mentioned spiral but then you also had like the whole eldritch synchro variant like that's dead now uh infernobles that's like for the for the best variant of the deck it only survived like oh, a yeah month no infernobles and a half. cards on this list too uh, except uh, there there was a, th a vote thrown by someone mm. <laughs> to uh oliver I wonder. Oh, I nearly forgot. Lastly, uh, a special shout out to who also got equal votes to uh, Oliver, Melfi Rabbi. <laughs> 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 a 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Melfi Mommy. Yeah. Probably should be Mommy. It should be Mommy. Melfi's of the forest. Otherwise, thanks for joining me, Jake. And no problem. Catch you all tomorrow. Bye.